Now you have some huge stars, the biggest stars in the world really in your film, but you also brought in kind of an iconic badass to add a little bit behind the scenes and it's Tony Basil. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very true, yeah. Most people know her as an 80s icon from her hit song, Hey Mickey. Street dancers know her as a 70s icon, as the female founding member of The Lockers. But it was her classical training mixed with club dancing that first got Tony Basil noticed as the go-go go-to girl in the 60s. She was the, the goddess of go-go, one of the great dancers on, uh, uh, great choreographers, great dancers of her time, terrific zeitgeisty actress, her and Karen Black at the end of Easy Rider in the Monkees movie Head, her and Davy Jones do one of the great dance numbers in the history of movies. They're magnificent together. She knows this world perfect. So when it came to actually teaching Sharon how to do the go-go dancing and everything, that you know, there was only one person to go to. And then one of the cool things that she did is when we were doing the sequence at the Playboy Mansion, and then I got the idea, well, wait a minute, what if like we had about like four Playboy bunnies out there kind of dancing in the background? I came up with that idea on the day, and then I had to be able to send Tony to go teach them uh, a dance routine that they could do all night long, and she did. She, I, I, that's one of my favorite shots in the whole movie. Uh, in the whole movie is those Playboy Bunny dancers doing their little dance bit. Dance was different. It was go go, and it became so popular they started to make movies, those beach movies. I think the first beach film that we did was Pajama Party. I can't tell you how many times I've spun in the sand and tried to keep my balance and, you know. There was 15 to 20 of us that got all the jobs in the 60s, literally. And she's not kidding, stealing the spotlight from stars like Elvis and Anne Margaret. And in Viva Las Vegas, you were literally the girl with the red dress on. I was. See the girl with the red dress on. She can do the dog all night long. I didn't realize how iconic it was but it was very exciting. Even the Rat Pack took notice of the little shining star. Robin and the Seven Hoods. That was Dean Martin, Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Bing Crosby. And uh, they did a little documentary on me, this little, the little showgirl that was making her own clothes. <laughs> Stood in the back the first day, I got moved to the center the second day, and I was front and center when they shot that that musical number. Charleston, Charleston, Charlotte couldn't Charleston, couldn't Charleston to save her soul. But it was when she was assisting the choreographer on The Tammy Show and saw James Brown that her 60s dance style would get flipped upside down. But boy, I really didn't know what that funk was like until I saw James Brown and the Flames. And in the village of the giants, Jack Nietzsche composed a song for me to dance to. You can see my dance changed from that beach to that scene because I was trying to do these James Brown moves. Today, Tony spends most of her time in the hip hop dance world judging international tournaments. But she was thrilled to go back in time with Tarantino. It was extraordinary. It was just extraordinary. My most important quality that I could contribute to Quentin was to keep everything authentic. Whether it was just a Sharon Tate moving in her house, or whether it was a party scene. Or the 1960s TV show Hullabaloo. I do a lot of 60s workshops now, and I see contemporary dancers come, and they're perplexed by the movement because the body is moving different. Shotgun, what to see? Quentin Tarantino. Go to abc7.com slash ionla to learn more about Tony Basil and her fascinating career.